Hello, it is I, Dragon Souped, also known as Sotasaur in game. In this video, I'll be talking about Minecraft's next update, the 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update, alongside some other major Minecraft news. Now, let's get right into the video. Starting off with the update information, the Caves and Cliffs update is Minecraft's next major update, set to be released in the summer of 2021. This update focuses on improving cave and mountain generation, and also adds goats, a new animal to be added into the mountains that was previously voted on during the last Minecon. These mobs are capable of jumping large gaps and will charge at players and mobs that they don't like. On the cave side of this update, however, caves will be expanded upon within this update. And not only are they larger than before, new biomes can also be found within these caves as well, such as the Dripstone Caves, a new form of cave that features stalactites and stalagmites. These spike-like blocks can be used to fill cauldrons, however, these spikes will damage mobs and players that fall on top of them, so you'll need to be careful when navigating these caves. Another new biome to be added in this update are the Lush Caves. These caves are filled with plants that are found nowhere else in the game, including unique types of vines, grass, flowers, and lily pads, alongside the new trip leaf plants which, upon being stood upon for too long, will drop the player or mob that are standing upon them. The Lush Caves also feature a new but vicious mob, the Axolotl. Axolotls are a new animal that can come in several different color variations. These mobs can be picked up within buckets, and when they are released, they will fight alongside players. These mobs behave similarly to wolves when released, however, upon taking damage, these mobs will play dead, making all mobs around them lose attention. This will give the axolotl enough time to regenerate its own health before going back into fight. But that's not all, these underwater mobs can heal other players as well, making them ideal companions for ocean exploration. Finally, the last biome to be reviewed within this update is the Deep Dark, located close to the bedrock level. Here, you'll find the mysterious Skulk Groves, new blocks that release a redstone signal upon detecting sounds. Wool blocks placed on their side, however, will prevent them from hearing sounds coming from that side, making it possible to create directional wireless redstone. However, these wondrous new blocks are also guarded by a powerful new creature, the Warden. These blind mobs use sounds to detect their prey, and upon hearing a player, they will quickly chase after them. These mobs are insanely powerful, able to resist blows from even Neferite weapons and take down Neferite armored opponents in two blows. When exploring this biome, Make sure to watch out for this mob. The new caves in 1.17 will also bring new resources as well, such as Amethyst, a new crystal, which can allow you to craft a telescope to zoom in and view your world from far away. If that doesn't interest you, perhaps try mining for copper, a new ore that can be found within the new caves as well. This metallic block can be used as a sturdy building block that changes color over time, or it can be used to craft a lightning rod, a new block that will attract lightning towards it. Alternatively, you can use the new brush item to unearth artifacts from the ground. You may be capable of finding diamonds and emeralds, but also new ceramic shards, which you can construct clay pots out of. And finally, to top it all off, you can use the new bundle item to store your new resources from the update inside. 
a lot of Minecraft news has also come out this week alongside the update, which I'll be talking about right now. Minecraft Live had just broadcasted yesterday as of the making of this video, and with that, a new mob vote was held at the event. Players were capable of choosing between three mobs, those being the Moo Boom, a new cow variant that spawns in the flower forest and spawns flowers wherever it walks. The Isolager, a new illager that summons blocks of ice to crush their opponents. And finally, the Ghost Squid, a new variant of the squid that spawns in the deep ocean, and is capable of hypnotizing those that look at it. The winner of the mob vote was the Ghost Squid, which will be added in with the 1.17 update. New DLC has also been announced for Minecraft Dungeons, which will feature the mountain biome alongside an ocean area, an end area, and a nether area as well. And speaking of DLC, Steve and Alex, the default skins of Minecraft, will be added into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a fighting game that features various video game characters as paid DLC. Well, that's all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other videos too. This is Dragon Suit, signing out.